Oh, the shark's chasing us. Sorry. The shark's chasing you. Hurry up, baby. What is up, my adventure crew? Today's episode is going to show you what happens when opportunity is there, but you missed opportunity. The power was huge, the power was massive, and it was going off. And we weren't able to capitalize on the bite when it was right there. We ran into a major tangle, by far one of the worst, and it kind of hurt us. But we we're still able to pull some weight and some fish off the pile. And at the end of the day, we we're able to use a green stick and put about another 80 or 90 pounds on the boat, which was key. Um, we do have a lure drop dropping today. After this video is done at 12.30, morrislures.com. This thing got smoked on the way in. We didn't we didn't check the lure till we at the wash rack, but we got smoked by a marlin. So... We missed some opportunities for sure. But uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys after the intro. Welcome to Red Legends Hawaii. This is what we do. <laughs> What is up, my adventure crew, Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Come back. Welcome back aboard. Just me and the one and only Kamikaze Mark today. Ninja Henry's in Japan. So all I can say is you should have came, Henry. Being in Japan is no excuse. Trying to catch bait this morning at a buoy in Hollywood that's supposed to be, and there's no buoy here. But we're trying to catch some bait. Got a couple pieces, and then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run outside and see if we get lucky. Mark's over here too busy hooking himself. Come on, Mark, get down there, hurry up. Big ball, I'm right over him now. I remember my first time catching Opelu. <laughs> over the pile now. With Opelu, the window opportunity is small. You have a small window. And Mark is still have his boat on the line on the boat, Mark. All right, watch this full pool come here, boys. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Oh, oh, that's the dozers. Oh my God. Oh, I just lost one. That's the ones you want. That's the ones you want. The big boys like this. Ooh. Oh, big boys. Big boys. Yeah, that's some dozers. That's the kind you want when you're looking for the tuna fish. We got Mortal Pelu. We got Pamela Pearl over here. I always get the question, who's a good charter boat? Lots of good charter boats. Um, but I know these guys personally, these guys put people on the fish, so Pamela Pro Sport Fishing. Links will be in the bio, check them out. They'll they'll definitely put you on the meat. Oh, I just lost one. Like seven baits right now. I'm gonna try to get at least a dozen baits is our is our goal. We got two on right now. Let's see what we got. These are, I'm using Van or lures. I got links in the bow for this stuff. Highfishgear.com has them, raw five, and then 5% uh, off. Same way I buy them. Oh, only one? One, oh, those are, a those are. You find the IU Powell, these work. Eight, nine, over the rail. One, let's try that works, this is a big one. Yeah, need one more. One more route. Oh, it's got, look at this guy's rain. Somewhere. What the hell? Oh, this guy's running like he's a sheepy. What is this guy doing? What the hell? Oh, now he's taking line. Oh, dude, what happened? Hey, oh, see this way guy's running? Yeah. What the hell is this? I never had no pillow run like that before. What the hell? Oh, the shark chase you. That's why. The shark chase you. Hurry up, baby. No, no, no. Shark. Oh, that's why. Look. Look. Oh, cheap. Cabo, cabo. Oh, okay. Right here, right? This is 11 baits and a cabo, cabo. I guess it's 12. Yeah, 11. And then the Mr. Galapagos shark came. I'm trying to eat him next to the boat. He half my rig. So I told Mark. That's enough shark interaction for today. 11 baits is more than enough for what we're going to do. We're gonna head on now and uh, put you on the buoy, see if the buoy's holding anything. And from there, we're gonna try hunting a little bit, boys and girls, so see if we can get lucky. It's a beautiful day. All right, so we're by uh, a buoy, or a paddle, we call it in Hawaii, fish aggregate device, I believe is what it is. 
And uh, we're drinking our grease stick. We just put the grease stick out. The first pass down to see. Some of the boats over here dragging like bait. I guess there's tuna fish here like the other week. I don't think anymore. I don't see anything happening. I don't see the other quarter, but I'm gonna put out the stick just to be different because everybody else is dragging bait and dragging lures. Might as well be different than everybody else. See what happens. Hopefully something comes up. Oh, right there. On. You're on. You're on. Yep, you're on. All right, let's see how Mark does. Let's see if Mark can impress us, boys and girls. If he impresses you, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It's not going to be a big one, but it's a fish. A 10 pounder, maybe? Okay, it's all you. Let's see it. Oh my god, that's about a tip on her. Gotta do. Oh. I'm good. Alright, see? There you go. That's a, that's a shibi. Alright, I think I just discovered our problem of why we're a little slow to stick this morning. On 9.30 in the morning, put the stick away. We got one 10 pound shibi with the stick. We'll put our lines now, put a nine inch ice blue jet on that side. And uh, watch you Mark have an issue over there. <laughs> we'll put a seven inch blue snow globe on this side. What our issue was, I forgot to put the moose to be in the water. I'm sure some of you guys are saying where's the moose to be right now. Well, here it is. It says always, I always say it. If you gotta get something, you have to give something. I'll tell you what, that sea god, he or she, they love their spam to be. So let's get this in the water. Let's give them something to eat. And hopefully they pay a favor and give us back something. All right, let's see what happens. Let's get these lines in the water. We'll be back shortly. On that new, uh, that new reverse, a new seven inch reverse. These will be dropping today after this video on my website, morsefoods.com. We have lures dropping today, Friday, at uh, 12.30. So stay tuned for that. So after the video, 12.30 Hawaii time, we have lures dropping. And uh, check out your shirts, go get a shirt. We have some new designs in. But a uh, seven inch reverse, I ran two six inch bullets. All right, we got our first bird ball of the day. 12 o'clock. See if we can get in them. Big Open so but our first bird on the day. Had to do a nasty rain cloud again like last week and the week before that. That's good. Huh? Good, good, good. That'll be giving a bucket. I'm gonna go back in this bow. Alright, get back in again. Oh, 12 to 15 pound size. Definitely got some Otaros in this power too, like 20 pounders. That was on too, double double. Come on, triple. Got yeah, double, other triple, we got triple on Mark. Oh, the 70 trip first is on, baby! Oh, everything's on, Mark. Even the long readers on. Oh, maybe not. I don't know if the long readers on. Oh, there's a tangle back there. Good. What is that, Otaru? Big one, huh? Tangle. Tangle. Sorry, Q1. I'm going for it. Boat. Boat. Oh. Oh. This tangle does hard. 
Okay, let's do this real fast. Hold this real fast. Don't let it go. Hold on. The bad thing we had actually happened from a Mai strike. It swam across out there long rigger and tangled it, and I didn't catch it, so it was my fault. And it literally put us down for 20 minutes dealing with the most craziest tangle ever. We had to actually cut lines and retie. Mark, the long rigger came down. Take the rubber back down. There's nothing I need the rubber back just now. You gotta crank that one down first before you put it back up. Right there. Two on. Two on. Go. Away. Line broke. What? What's up, brother? Fiasco on that one. Mark thought it went to the top, we killed the motor, but it was just a big one, it was down on her knee. And that one snapped on the run. Got the main line. How's everybody good, but too much mistakes are being made by me and Mark. We need to stop making mistakes our capital because we're gonna get on this bike. Alright, here we go. One o'clock now. I get this question often. Where do you get your fishing gear from? And a simple answer for me is highfishgear.com. I use raw five at checkout, I get 5% off, super fast, extremely fast shipping. I ordered this yesterday, it came in today. You can't beat it how fast these guys ship. Local Hawaii company ship all around the United States, all around the world, they ship to Guam. They keep a lot of stuff in stock that you can't find in other places. The best price on fluorocarbon leader line. If you wanna get those real adventure lucky fishing hats, this is the place to do it. Check them out, links are in the bow. Links for all the stuff I use are also in the bow. iFishGear.com, support the dream, unbelievable guys. Thank you to Bill and the crew as always, check them out. But uh, back to the show, here we go boys and girls. After going outside and getting tangles on the most important part of the day and having the power break up on us, we're back at the buoy again. Nobody's here. It's 5.15 in the afternoon. We're checking out, hopefully a fish are here. Hopefully a fish are coming up. We're gonna try to pay that, that late bite and see what happens. The power's gonna be higher. Definitely higher. This morning we were here, they're at 20 fathoms, then they went down to 30 fathoms, that's why we left. Now they're at about 8 fathoms. So the fish are here. We got light bait, but let's make another pass and then go up sea. And we'll probably put out the stick. We can get some life over here. Everybody talk to us here this afternoon because they're dead. This is what you call never give up fishing, I guess. It's 5.35, about an hour and 10 minutes. Put the stick out. We got about 80 pounds, 90 pounds of fish. Let's see if we can increase that a little bit. I still do have like about a dozen live oak pebbles. I think 11 or 12 live oak pebbles left. That's always an option too, but the stick is just faster. All right, let's go back up. Take that first pass. Definitely got some good sized marks on the buoy. Only we can get a bite. Only thing can come up. Oh, 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 double, double, you saw him? Number one, no. Number one and number three, both had. That was a good sized fish. They both missed though. Number two just got hit. Is he on? He's on. No, no, they missed. Ah. Is number two on? I think we're on. Number three. Yeah, 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 killing Mark. See, Mark, you make us proud over here, boys and girls. I think it's a small one, I think like a 10 12 pounder. Like 10 pounds, 12 pounds. Oh, that's about 15 pounder. Not bad for a second pass. There's a lot of small ones, or maybe like about 12 pounders missing. I literally got like a couple of 30s pass by. 
that may stick. So they would definitely work over here for the late bite for sure. So if you have a green stick, you know, late bite the buoy, they would definitely work. The stick's a little faster. It's a little more exciting. Well, Mark, how's that? Action? All right, let's get back to it. It's in the kill zone right now. Oh, number number well, three, yeah? yeah oh, that was a bit of number we're four, on. huh? We're John? On. Yeah, we're on. Sure? Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Right, one more, let's see how it We didn't see us with a hit, though, huh? Right, yeah. Are you? The tag one. One more game bigger? Oh yeah. Okay, let's have stack out so we can see how. I'm gonna let's stack out. I want to buy the boat. Okay, that's out. That was way bigger. Huh? Oh. oh! Missed number two! No, he's on. Oh, he's on? Yep. So that one? Size one. He's, I think he lifted him out. You have to get this one. But it's hard because they, they look from far away, you know what I mean? I think same as the other ones, like 15 and 20. Okay, all you. I thought that was it, but there's one more on. Right here, Mark, number three also. See, I saw number two, but you saw number three, but yeah. Actually, it's number four, I think, Mark. <laughs> well, I guess we have to take it to line tight. Okay. Number four. So, kick him into the corner. So just letting you all bust up. Okay, ready? One more same size, Mark. Four! <laughs> yeah! Handle that, Mark! Handle it! I'm up there, huh? Well, that's a good size one. Take him out, take him out. Turn away, turn away. Hit him and cut him and throw him in the corner. Gotta go right off time. He's good. It's a good size one. Getting bigger, Mark! Getting bigger! That guy's for the late bite. Six pieces in about an hour. There's some pebbles left. Still swimming, swimming, swimming. Go for a ride today. We pushed 100 pounds in the last hour. Not bad. All right, time to go that way. Last week we gave away a hat, and this is the random comment picker for the hat to see who won it. So if you win it, message me on Instagram or email me morrislures at yahoo.com and give me your address, and I will ship it out to you. Thanks again for everybody for uh, the support, and thanks for playing my games. Well, not bad. Well, these 160 pounds, maybe a little more. Good job, Mark. Yeah. Well, let's save the day with those. The last minute buoy run. The tangle was, I think, more action in the in the buoy oh, run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we give him a box, and then uh, I used to see the store. What about the fish? You want this fish from the sea? No waters too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer.